Hi, I'm John Mulligan reporting from SCS Toronto 2008. I'm here with Curtis Duick and Ken Jarena, both from FBR. Hey, Hi, guys. How are you doing, John? Doing okay. You? We're doing very well. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Are you uh, enjoying the conference? Thus far, we are. It's always a great show and turnout in SCS in Toronto. And love to have more and more people in Canada being you know, aware of the benefits of search engine optimization and marketing. Absolutely. And so what I really want to talk about today is your, ne is your new negative keyword list tool. Uh, could you just tell us a little bit about that from the ground up? Yeah, sure. Uh, many people will be using negative keywords already in their, pe their pay-per-click campaigns. Yeah. So a lot of people are familiar with the benefits that come from uh, constructing a list of negative keywords. What we're doing is extending that principle uh, so that instead of having maybe 10 or 20 or a few hundred, maybe even a couple of thousand negative keywords, we're maxing out the capabilities of negative keywords, coming up with lists that are algorithmically generated uh, along with human assistance with the result of our software, um, really creating uh, an, extreme, uh, uh, an extreme long tail effect happening with these negative keywords. So how does the, try to get us into how the system works without going over people's heads. So uh, you say that it's human assisted, Does, is, it, uh, is it built in such a way that the client can assist it or is it sort of an expert program that you all handle? Um, it's a bit of a combination of, of both really. What we've done is we re reversed our market view application which has been going out and looking at hundreds of thousands of phrases to rank on organically mm -hmm. and use that application to identify what are the best phrases that you best phrases and negative keywords being phrases that are being searched the most that you don't want your phrase, your ads to be appearing on. Sure. So what we're doing is a process of a, a questionnaire we walk through with the client to understand exactly who their customer is, what the consumer behavior is, the demographic, geographic around it, so we can get a good idea as to who we're trying to target. Uh -huh. And then what we're doing is filtering through using our application all the phrases that would be appearing on ads that would you know, mention a key term or two in the phrase resulting in the ad appearing. So the client's involved in providing insight and information. A lot of the heavy lifting is done by the application where it's data mining those hundreds of thousands of phrases because whether you want to rank on organic phrases or you don't want your, your paid ads to rank, it's identifying what are the terms and phrases you don't want to rank on or you do want to rank on. And the ones on the negative side is you really want to take a look at what are the phrases that are being searched the most that you don't want your ads to be ranking on because those are the ones that are going to remove the most amount of, you know, lost revenue percentage wise. So I mean, what, what's happening at the end of this is your, your ads are now just appearing to a much better targeted prospect because yeah. you're not having ads appearing on phrases that aren't really targeted for you know your products and services. They just happen to mention a term or two that causes your ad to be displayed. So at the end, we're generating now about a 10 to 20% savings on a people's click, click spend per month, which is huge in the industry. Absolutely. And we're also generating a huge result from a click-through rate improvement. I mean, it's usually between a 15 to 50% improvement on click-through rate and sometimes even higher. So those types of results are pretty unheard of you know, when you're doing typical tweaking of you know, ad copy or landing pages. This is something that can really make a fairly quantum leap improvement for people's campaigns just by inserting one negative keyword list that either the client can do themselves or if it's an agency that's managing a client's account, we can provide it to them and they can insert it themselves as well. So it's a fairly easy, quick fix, although obviously, word of caution would be that you simply can't set it and forget it. You do have to be updating your negative keywords. You can't just expect them to be a one-time fix. Unless you're in an industry where it's really more, I guess, stale and stagnant and things aren't changing too frequent, where your services aren't changing, they've been the same for the last five years, it's a very established industry, nobody really calls things new things, and one term, one phrase list may work for you know, a lot of time, a longer time period, right? Yeah. And with these long lists, uh, do you find, and these kind of incredible success numbers that you're talking yeah. about here. Uh, do you see them, do you see greater success with larger campaigns? Um, does your tool work differently with small to medium sized clients as opposed to say an enterprise campaign with like tens of thousands of keywords? The linguistic effect will be, uh, will have the same potency regardless of the ad spend. Uh -huh. But if we're dealing with a percentage increase, uh, you know, whether it's a 20% or a 30%, whatever the number is, obviously the larger your ad spend, the bigger the savings at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Well, thanks so much for talking to us, You're guys. And uh, we'll see you at future shows. Sounds good. Great. Thanks for having us. This is SES Toronto 2008.